The cold front has arrived in Cape Town with more rain and snow in the forecast. See so is what you can expect. A light dusting of snow will start falling over the high mountain peaks of the Western Cape near the Matrisburg and Cedarburg, as well as the Southern Dockensburg. And then more light snow expected throughout Thursday, mainly over the mountainous areas of the Cape provinces and the Southern Dockensburg. No ground snow expected the next two days, but we've got a stronger cold front making landfall on Sunday, expected to bring widespread snow across South Africa as seen on our snowfall map. The European ECMWF model currently picking up heavy and disruptive snowfall likely to fall on Sunday into Monday over the mountainous areas of the Western Cape. And at the moment, weather models are indicating freezing levels will drop low enough for a light dusting of snow to fall on Sunday, the 7th of July, over Table Mountain. But keep in mind, this forecast is still a few days away and could change. And if the snow falls with rain, it could quickly melt or it could just be some ice rain falling over Table Mountain. But if you're brave enough, go up and see for yourself. As well as more than 10 centimeters of ground snow likely in the Karoo in towns like Sutherland and surrounding areas. Heavy snowfall also likely to fall over the mountainous areas of the Eastern Cape as well as the Southern Jockensburg. At the moment, small towns like Maltino and Barclay East near the Southern Jockensburg might see some ground snow on Sunday into Monday. But remember, this is an advanced forecast. It's still five days away and could change. So continue to watch Fox Weather for regular updates. This week, two cold fronts are responsible for the icy conditions across the country, with the second front blasting cold air over large parts of the country on Friday. This Wednesday, cool to cold in the shade of green, but very warm over the northeastern areas of South Africa. Temperatures in parts of the low felt reaching the upper 20s and close to 30 degrees. And then into Thursday, cold conditions are spreading eastwards over large parts of northwest the Free State and KwaZulu Natal, remaining hot in parts of the low felt. In those areas, temperatures yet again peeing close to 30 degrees but quite cold now in parts of the free state as well as the crew with maximum temperatures remaining below the mid teens and close to 10 degrees in some areas and then it's going to be freezing cold on friday morning over the interior of south africa temperatures plummeting below a freezing with widespread frost expected in parts of the eastern cape the free state northwest southern halting as well as the eiffelt and kwazulu natal Remaining cold the afternoon, especially over the southern and central parts of South Africa. Maximum temperatures not even peaking at 15 degrees. Also quite cool to cold in Halting, the southern areas 19 degrees in Johannesburg, but remaining warm in parts of the Lofal. Most of the rain falling over the Cape provinces the next few days. And if we take our accumulated rainfall model all the way to next week, Monday, we can see in those shades of black, we're expecting more than 100 millimeters to accumulate over the mountainous areas and parts of the wildlands. With the Weather Service warning against a localized flooding over low-lying areas in the Western Cape, especially over the city of Cape Town and parts of the wildlands.